John Hawkins. Not everything is black and white. People are not either all good or all bad. Want a perfect example? Take John Hawkins. Okay, now put him back. Depending on who you were and what your dealings were with this guy, you might view Hawkins as a heartless villain or as a heroic adventurer. Yes, you could call him a polarizing figure. So, what was this dude and what was his deal? For starters, Hawkins was the cousin of Sir Francis Drake, who was, uh, among other things, uh, a pirate. Well, maybe not the best role model a kid could have. In 1561, Hawkins made his first journey to the West Indies. Before long, he had hijacked a Portuguese ship, stolen their slaves, and then sold them into the Caribbean settlements. There must have been something in the Hawkins family genes. John was, in fact, the first person to enter England into the slave trade, which might look impressive on his resume depending on whom you ask. Hawkins made himself a fortune in the slave business. Some of the trading he handled himself, although he also formed an organization of well-to-do merchants and traders to conduct some of the transactions for him. Not content to simply make things difficult on the enslaved, Hawkins decided to give England's international foes a hard time as well. He fought in the Battle of Veracruz in Mexico, where his fleet was severely depleted and he lost two ships. It's a major bummer whenever you lose ships because, well, uh, there are usually people on them. Hawkins quickly bounced back from this bit of embarrassing entanglement and went on to add spy and war hero to his ever-expanding resume. We're surprised he didn't also add four years of ballet training at the Joffrey to impress people. He then became an official Elizabethan privateer, making him a legally approved pirate, just like his good old cousin Drake. He was presented with a letter of mark legalizing his open raids on Spanish and Portuguese ships. Although raids are never quite as much fun when you've gotten the thumbs up from your government. <laughs> for Hawkins and his fellow pirates, it was all about the booty. The quickest and easiest way for England to profit from the New World was not to establish its own settlements, but to steal from Spanish gold ships. It was kind of like how you convince your little brother to mow the lawn and then swoop in and take all the credit. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. But then the hero Hawkins made another appearance. He assisted in foiling an assassination attempt on Queen Elizabeth's life. Hawkins was a legit spy. He had stayed under deep cover within the enemy ranks, only revealing his true loyalties at the end. Things came to a head with the Spanish. There was a big sea battle from which Hawkins and his men emerged victorious. He was knighted for his participation and bravery in the defeat of the Spanish Armada. Wealthy merchant, pirate, spy, warrior. Hawkins was viewed as a multifaceted hero in England and was rewarded for his contributions. But you might see his actions in a different light if you were a native African whom he sold into slavery. Or a Spanish settler or merchant captain who was robbed or killed by him. <laughs> 